Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Jason. Thanks for joining me in my daily devotionals. Today we're in 2 Corinthians 6. And at the recording of this video, it's Friday. That means I simply read you the scripture and allow you to talk with the Holy Spirit, figure out what he is trying to say to you. Today's chapter is all about how we should be living. So, let me pray. We'll get into it. Father, thank you for your love, your patience. May our lives be a reflection of you. May we remember that we are on mission for you. And as we bring people alongside us to also minister, may we remember that your spirit, your righteousness is what should shine forth. We thank you and praise you in your name. Amen. Here we go. Verse 6, chapter, uh, verse 6, chapter 6, verse 1. Working together with him, we also appeal to you, don't receive God's grace in vain. For he says, I heard you in an acceptable time, and I helped you in the day of salvation. Look, now is the acceptable time, now is the day of salvation. We give no opportunity for stumbling to anyone, so that the ministry will not be blamed. But as God's ministers, we commend ourselves in everything, by great endurance, by afflictions, by hardships, by difficulties, by beatings and imprisonments, by riots, by labors, by sleepless nights, by times of hunger, by purity, by knowledge, by patience, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love, by the message of truth, by the power of God, through weapons of righteousness on the right hand and the left, through glory and dishonor, through slander and good report, as deceivers, yet true, as unknown, yet recognized, as dying, and look, we live, as being disciplined, yet not killed, as grieving, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet enriching many, as having nothing, yet possessing everything. We have spoken openly to you, Corinthians. Our heart has been opened wide. You are not limited, limited by us, but you are limited by your own affections. I speak as to my children. As a proper response, you should also be open to us. Don't be mismatched with unbelievers. For what partnership is there between the righteousness and lawlessness? Or what fellowship does light have with darkness? What agreement does Christ have with Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? And what agreement does God's sanctuary have with idols? For we are the sanctuary of the living God. As God said, I will dwell among them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch anything unclean and I will welcome you. I will be a father to you and you will be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. Chapter 6 great chapter on how we should be living. And did anything stick out to you? What verse stood out to you? Maybe try to memorize that. I know there's certain things in there that, you know, it's a lot of it is a list, but what stood out to you? What can you commit to your heart today for the weekend? How can you take one of these things and portray it better this weekend? What do you learn about the Lord? Is there something we learn about the Lord in this chapter? What about man? How does man tend to react? We have the capacity for both good and evil. What? What did you learn about man? Is there sins to avoid in this chapter that are specifically spelled out? Maybe, maybe not. Is there specific commands? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch. And how are you going to come away changed? That's the important part. How are you coming away changed? How are you going to have a different weekend? Hey, I hope chapter six was a blessing to you. Go on out, be a blessing to your neighbors and the people around you. Bring them encouragement from the Lord. With that, I'll see you on Monday with chapter seven.